Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, this week of boxing is kind of a slow week, right? You know, because we got the uh, Anthony Joshua fight coming. It was, was Specking Dillian White. Now we got Robert Hellenius. But I will tell you guys, still watch that fight because uh, there might be a few fireworks there. I talked about why. Uh, but right, right now, when you're talking boxing, uh, I'm glad to say, you know, now you have to mention Terrence Bud Crawford. All right? And me being a, what do they, you know, you got, every time you like a good fighter, right? They, they get names for you. you. You get a nickname, you know what I'm saying? Because you like a fighter that's obviously good, that's obviously doing historic things, that's obviously great, right? You're not supposed to like them, so you get all kind of names. So I, I guess I was, I've heard this, this, this Bud Buddy stuff, you know, I've heard that before. And I guess I'm one of them because, you know, I'm a Hakeem Olajuwon, whatever. Or, you know, you, you like somebody, but they've earned it. You wasn't there when they was born or when they started fighting, right? They earned it. You know, I'm a De Deontay Wilder guy because I don't know what I've been watching box forever. I mean, Lennox Lewis is my favorite for all time. Matter of fact, the GOAT. But I'm just saying, uh, you know, Deontay Wilder, I was like here to see a skinny dude out of nowhere knocking people out all the damn time and walking away before they even hit the ground. Like, I haven't seen all of that before from somebody just didn't, you know, he didn't go to Custy Amato and learn the craft like that. He just, I'm, my daughter's sick. I got to go do something. And I'm going to start knocking everybody out at an average of 25 pounds. And I, as a sport fan, is supposed to act like, oh, that's just normal. And all these other guys are better. No, I'm just not happening. No matter what you're called. So Terrence Crawford, I've obviously seen, and I explained it to people too, when he fought Gamboa, I was all in on Gamboa. Because Gamboa wasn't getting treated right either. Cuban cat. Real, real good. Just wasn't getting fights and was, wasn't treated right. Always, you know, these real great fighters, they always make the wrong business moves. You know, no, all great fighters make wrong business moves. You know what I'm saying? Because they, you know what that means is I'm in position. People know about me, but hey, we can ignore you because you made the wrong business moves. <laughs> you know, only in boxing. So Terrence Crawford, I was going for gun boy against, uh, against Terrence Crawford. And I just said, damn, you know, he beat my boy. Didn't start watching him. And it's like, damn, he done beat everybody's boy. To the point where you just say, oh, this is a bad dude, period. Right? So, you know, now he's proven it on a big stage. What we all knew in the first damn place. Because I've told you guys before, there's no way... He should have been a favorite against an Errol Spence, a guy with three belts and a weight division where he was bigger. And I also told you guys for years now that he, Errol Spence should have been doing the chasing. When a smaller guy comes up to your division with the moniker of number one pound for pounds, you're supposed to be like, oh, don't nobody come in my division with no number one pound for pounds. You're supposed to be chasing. So I just figured something's wrong here. Terrence Crawford is obviously bad. Awesome. Awesome dude. And then while he was fighting people on the other side of the street, which don't really exist, he was knocking them all out in his third weight division, knocking everybody out. I'm like, yeah, yeah there's a reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's making the wrong business moves, just like all super great fighters. Right? Gamboa, business moves. Yeah. Demetrius Andre, mm, business moves. Terrence Crawford, hey, business moves. Right? You know, yeah, everybody make business. Devin Haney, business moves, but he just ignored y'all and still got his stuff going on, but he had to go through it. Let me just keep on point before I start ranting here. Bottom line is this. Terrence Crawford has spoken, and what I'm enjoying right now about the fallout of his fight is he's getting to do what I've been saying they should be doing to all these fighters that are treated wrong, right? He's get to go on the CBSs of the world and, and the normal, you know, the normal uh, stations and the high profile stations, the stations that reach more of a casual fans, you know, just normal shows. All of a sudden, Terrence Crawford's there because you can actually say this is the best fighter on the planet right now. I made a video back. As a matter of fact, when I was editing uh, and I was told y'all, it was about, about two years now, uh, video. Go back to Doma, Terrence Crawford and scroll through there. You see one that was um, edited. And I um, was talking about if we if, to, if somebody had to fight for the planet and we had to send one person to fight for the planet. Two years ago, I would have sent Terrence Crawford for the planet to fight an alien for the for our planet, keeping our planet humanity. That's how good I thought he was two years ago. So, you know, he's proven that he's he's very, very good. And he's, you know, 
getting the residuals from it and um the whole you know the whole world is giving the feedback the whole world is giving him his props and i think that's just really good now to my point which done took forever terence crawford is open to a catchweight fight against canelo alvarez now hey i've done a video about a year and a half ago about i don't think the world would want to see terence crawford versus canelo spence versus canelo mm. Just like Pacquiao, it was like Spence versus Pacquiao was okay. But as soon as you say Terrence Crawford versus Pacquiao, then everybody starts worrying about Pacquiao's well-being, right? Everybody. Pacquiao's team, Pacquiao, uh, the, the, the pundits, everybody. Remember that? Just go Google it. When it comes to Canelo, uh, Terrence Crawford said, hey, you know, I'm open to a catch weight. Now, he wasn't saying anything about Canelo a couple of weeks back, but I think the fact that, uh, you know, he's not going to be able to get Charlo. Charlo's going up to fight Canelo. Canelo's probably going to win the fight is probably what he's thinking. He's open to a catch weight fight all the way up to 160 pounds, which is a whole bunch of jumping for him. Canelo wouldn't have to go back, go down too much, you know, from 168 to, to 160. I think Canelo can make that. Uh, Canelo would have all advantages, but hey. I think then that's a, a fair weight, 160, 158 to 160 is what uh, Terrence Crawford was talking about. What you guys think about that? I think, um, you know, right now with uh, Terrence Crawford being this old in his career and the fact that he was hoping to get undisputed in his third weight division by fighting Jamel Charlo. Jamel's going to fight Canelo. And he's not going to come back down to 154. Even though he's saying that now, it's just not going to happen. It's not good for your body. And he was really, the only reason he wasn't at 160 the whole time is because his brother Jamal is there. So I don't really see Jamel going back to 154. So, you know, you want a high profile fight right now when you're Terrence Crawford. You've been wasting uh, about five years for them not giving you the Spence fight, not giving you the Manny Pacquiao fight, right? And stuff like that. So right now, he deserves only high profile fights so bring in canelo now that would be a fight that where the boxing world would want to see right now they would want to see right now and i'm talking about pay-per-views would be through the roof they want to see but a lot of canelo fans watch what i tell you when they really start talking about it they ain't gonna really want this one too bad mark my words but anyway terrence crawford said he's up for it are you Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm out of here, y'all.